Hi, welcome back to the Bonsai Channel, brought to you by Dallas Bonsai Gardens. Today we're going to do a little bit of work on a trident maple, specifically branch work, and how to keep the branches in proportion with the rest of the tree. It's springtime here now in North Texas, and this trident maple has been leafing out now for the past few weeks, and now's the time to start doing some work on the branches eliminating some of the leaves that we don't need because we don't want long shoots. You can also notice that some of the winter work where I did some pruning, covering it with this cut paste, the wounds are starting to heal over real nice already. Well before we start, let's look at some of the tools we'll be needing to use. Basically tweezers at first, and I've laid out uh, a few different sizes here that we sell here, and I've placed a 3x5 index card next to them to give you an idea of the size. Sometimes looking at the website there, it's kind of hard to tell just exactly how big these tweezers are. But there's a different assortment of all different kinds, all different sizes, thicknesses. These are pretty good sized tweezers right here. Myself, I'll probably be using the smaller ones since they really fit well into my hand. And for the scissors, I've chosen two types, a large one and a smaller one. We'll probably be using these here today, but I also like using these an awful lot in various other trees that I have. So again, at this time of the year, when the new shoots are coming out, it's the time when you really have to stop and look at your tree to see if everything's going the way you want it to. As I said earlier, we want to keep the, the branches in proportion with the trunk. There have been many times I've seen really nice looking trees, but some of the branches, especially near the top, were just as thick as the main trunk, and that's something you don't want to do. If you'll always remember how I, when I write my articles and even as I give my video talks on the junipers, I always talk about branch structure. Branch structure is the most critical part of styling a bonsai tree, because you want to have your trunk being thicker and everything else, and everything else just more or less tapering out. So if we didn't give time and thought to our style, this tree would just look just like another bush, and we don't want that. Some of you might have heard the term when talking about trident maples about reducing the leaves back to two leaves on the new shoots. Now this is only going to work on trees that are more or less in proportion to what they should be. Now with young stock, something that you know still has a few years to go before it's showable, you want to make sure that you have some kind of a design plan in mind. And with that in mind, you need to let the new shoots grow to the structure that you want it to be, to the style you're looking for. And you want to also allow them new shoots to thicken up. Basically what I'm saying is many times in order to have a, a branch thicken up on you, you'll need to have your shoot grow way out. Because the longer it grows out, the thicker it gets back at its base. So with new stock, early stock, something that you're planning on, on using, this type of work wouldn't really be necessary at the time. Because you want to let your branches grow out to the proportional thickness they need to be. But on this particular specimen, as you can notice how the branches are pretty much in proportion with the trunk. The trunk really isn't that, isn't that thick as it is, and the branches are just a little thinner, which is what we're looking for. Now in the area of the trunk itself, we don't want stuff like this here. On one of the main trunks here, you can see a new bud sprouting. Now if I wanted this bud to turn into a branch to play into my design, I would just allow it to continue growing and within a few years I'd have me another branch, but I don't. So I'm just going to go ahead and take that little bud right there and just, with my fingertips, just nip it off. Now on the branch structure also, in order to keep this tree from not looking like a bush, we don't want leaves growing way back on the inside here. We want the branch structure to be exposed. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this little bud right here that's been growing and we're going to just pull it off. Anything that's going to 
come in the way of making this branch not look like it's supposed to. We want to get out of the way here. We have another one right here at a junction point between two branches. We're going to just go ahead and pull it off. But we know we don't want a branch there. Now, here's what we're really going to work on. Notice this bud where it began to grow out. We've got two leaves back here, and we've got a hard stem here with two leaves, and we've got another one starting to sprout. In my design plan, I don't want this to come out any farther than these two leaves right now. So what I'm going to do is take my scissors here, since it's already hardened up, and I'm going to just nip that off right there. Try and get it back as close as possible to the two leaves. Now, focusing on this little branch right here, I want this the size of this branch here that's coming out, this new sprout, to play into my design. So I'm not going to cut this part off right here like I did on the other one. Instead, I'm going to take off this little bud right here. And with this here, I can use my tweezers for this. As long as you don't allow this shoot to harden right here, we can still use tweezers. But once it hardens like it does right here, you'll need to use scissors. So again, you've got to keep your design in mind as to how you want to place your branches and just how far back you want to come with them. So we're going to take this right here with our tweezers. And by the way, they all have little serrated edges on there on the inside, so you shouldn't have any problem once you grab a hold of it. We'll grab it like that there. Now these are very delicate, so you've got to be careful. And we'll just pull it out, just like so. And here's another one where I'm allowed to be able to just get this little bud right here with my tweezers. Grab the chute down a little lower where I can grab a hold of it. And pull it off, just like so. And here's another one right in the very front. We're going to just go ahead and pull this one off, just like so. So I needed to take off this new growth and develop what's called branch ramification. Now here I've got a bud that came out, and it does not play in my design, so I'm going to remove the whole thing. And again, this is where I'll use my scissors rather than my tweezers, because the tweezers just wouldn't be strong enough for it and we'll just nip it off right there. Now this type of work needs to be done throughout the entire tree and yet yeah, it's going to be time consuming but in the long run your specimen will really pay off by what you have as a final look. Well I hope that in some respect that this video was of some help to you. And it's a lot of work but you need to do it and at this time of the year, early spring depending upon where you live once those branches start growing out, that's when you need to start working on it. It's something you have to do, not put off, if you want a tree that's going to really look good down the road. And we thank you for stopping by.